everyone welcome back to the video series of internet of things in this video we are going to interface dhc 11 with esp32 and going to send the data of real-time data of temperature of our room to cloud at blink.io so here on the blink.io you can see that the temperature gauge is shown here and the temperature value is being printed here the same value you can see here this is the temperature value of my room right so let's get started and let's move towards the code First thing first, let's talk about what is the circuit. So I have slightly modified the circuit from the previous one. I have connected the DHT11 to D22 GPIO pin and the other things are same. So we connect the ground pin to the ground pin of ESP32. We connect the VACC pin to the VCC 3.3 volt pin to of the ESP32. And this is the overall circuit. Okay. As you know, we are making use of platform IO for this series of uh, videos. Uh, we need to install uh, run these two commands on the terminal on platform IO. So we click on the terminal to create button or to create a new terminal and copy paste these commands here and press enter. Both of the libraries will be downloaded and made part of your cloud project. The next thing, uh, these three lines basically specify the information of your particular device which is present on the Blink cloud. To get that, you go to the device information tab and copy for uh, click on it, this uh, black screen and all the three values will be copied. Moving forward, this line specifies that we have turned on the serial port so that we can print something on the terminal. Right. These four headers basically specify uh, the three features or enable three features. The first one is the Wi Fi feature of ESP32, the second one is the blank own functions written for ESP32 and the last one is DHT11. So for this particular project or this particular video, I have made use of Adafruit's library of DHT, which is fairly simple than the one which uh, we have used previously. Okay, this character, basically this auth variable is initialized to one of the three values of the device that is auth, uh, that is equal to the authentication token. Okay, next in these two variables, SSID and pass, I have given the SSID or the name of my Wi-Fi module or sorry, the Wi-Fi network, like my system is also connected to the same network and the password of my Wi-Fi network. Then I specify the pin number 22. Basically, this tells uh, the store that the data pin of DHT is connected to the GPIO 22. After that, I specify the type of the DHT we are using. I'm using DHT 11, the cheapest one. So I specify this keyword. You can write a DHT 22 or 20, 33, depending upon the which module you have. Then to the DHT object, we are telling that we have made use of this particular type of DHT and this particular GPIO pin. Next, we specify uh, or create an object of Blink timer. So for the case of Blink, the code is written in a way that you put the code or some feature into one function and then Timer library is given the name of that particular function and it's told that after this particular time period, you run this function or schedule this function. This is very similar to free RTOS. Okay, so I created one function that's name is send, uh, send sensor. Here I'm taking the output of uh, temperature and humidity from the object. And it's uh, fairly simple. You just call these functions to get the float type variable or the values in this variable. I'm just making use of T, the temperature. I'm not sending the humidity value for the time being. In this chunk of the code, we are checking that whether we are actually getting some value on the pin or not. If these are none, that we are not getting, right? If these are none, then we are going to print that we have failed to get the data from temperature sensor. After that, I'm printing the value of T, that is the temperature, which you can see uh, is being printed here. And then I'm writing this to or sending this to Blink Cloud. So the uh, so sending data to cloud is fairly simple. You just need to call this function. You write Blink dot virtual write. You set the pin number, which is in my case V zero as the uh, which which we have set up in the previous video. And then I'm telling it that send this particular variable data. That's it. Coming towards the setup function, we are setting the baud rate. We are initializing or beginning the Blink uh utility and for that we call blink dot we make the call to this function blink dot begin and then we pass the three variables which we have declared before after that i initialize the dht 11 uh object and then i make call to the timer function so this is the way to call 
the type of function we say timer dot set interval then this 1000 and means one second this is a long type variable then i uh, told it to call the function set sensor i think the loop you just make call to these two uh, functions you initialize or you start blink fun functionality and you start the timer functionality and this is it that's it here we are getting the value in the real time the value of the sensor is updated every one second and it's also printed here on the terminal that's it. that is it for this video in the next video we are going to control a relay module from blink cloud and we are going to control a light bulb through that